The 2014-2015 highly pathogenic avian influenza HPAI outbreak in the U.S. is the largest animal health emergency in the country's history. In less than six months, over 48 million birds on 219 premises from the Pacific Northwest to the Midwest either died or were depopulated due to infection with HPAI virus. Epidemiologists believe that the virus was initially introduced by wild migratory waterfowl and was later spread by people from farm to farm. Avian influenza virus is excreted through the feces, nasal, and oral secretions of infected birds and spread within a flock by direct contact between healthy and infected birds and from farm to farm through contaminated people, vehicles, and equipment. Because of this, biosecurity on an individual farm is essential. What is biosecurity? Biosecurity refers to procedures used to prevent the introduction and spread of disease-causing organisms in poultry flocks. The following video will provide best practices to improve biosecurity on your farm and protect your birds from exposure to avian influenza and other infectious diseases. It is important for you to provide adequate training on these biosecurity and disease prevention measures to whomever has access to the farm, including family members. Understanding how the avian influenza virus is transmitted from farm to farm is your first step in preventing the transmission of avian influenza and protecting your backyard flock. Control access. Contaminated vehicles and personnel pose the most significant threat to the health of your birds. Monitor those who visit your farm, keep unnecessary people off your farm, and do not allow visitors in or near the poultry houses, pens, or coops. Create a protective perimeter around your poultry premises. Use fences and signs to keep people away. Create structural barriers within the chicken houses to keep free-flying birds and four-legged animals out of the houses. Secure doors, fences, and access points to your poultry houses, pens, and coops. Personal biosecurity. Keep protective clothing, including shoes, boots, head cover, and gloves separate from the clothes worn outside the farm. It is important for you to adopt one of the following hygiene strategies regarding your footwear. 1. Keep a dedicated pair of boots for each chicken house. Use these boots strictly within each dedicated chicken house pen or coop. Or 2. Have a clean and functioning foot bath at each entrance to the chicken house pen or coop. These two simple strategies can help prevent the transmission of the virus from one location on your farm to another. Biosecurity for visitors. Essential visitors must wear protective clothing, including boots and head cover, before being allowed near the birds. This includes service personnel and veterinarians. Keep some protective clothing on hand for visitors or when problems arise. Have a waste receptacle place in close proximity to your access gates to dispose of disposable clothing when visitors leave. Hygiene and sanitation. Make sure feed and water sources are covered and free of contaminants, limiting the attraction of wild fowl and pests. Clean and disinfect all equipment, such as farm vehicles, egg baskets, and show equipment before it is allowed onto the poultry premises and before it leaves the premise. After work, Change out of your farm clothes and wash your hands and arms before leaving the chicken house, pen, or coop. Hunters, or those who come in contact with wild birds, should change their clothes and shoes and shower before returning to their poultry flock. This is especially important when coming into contact with waterfowl. Animal Husbandry and Management Migratory waterfowl serve as natural reservoirs for the avian influenza virus. These birds harbor the virus without getting sick, but can shed the virus and infect domestic poultry, such as chickens and turkeys. Because of this, it is important to protect your poultry flock from coming into contact with wild or migratory birds or their manure droppings. As an added preventive measure, keep your poultry away from any source of water, such as ponds, natural or man-made lakes, rivers or rain puddles that may have been contaminated by wild birds. Keep younger birds separate from older birds. Also, do not keep birds of different species in the same house or pen. For example, separate chickens from turkeys. Remove and properly dispose of dead birds. Improper disposal can lead to disease and attract flies and scavengers, which could transmit avian influenza virus and other infectious agents. 
growers should contact their state animal laboratory immediately if they observe high mortality in their flocks. Sick or dying birds should be sent on to a state laboratory for diagnosis. Do not visit other farms, poultry premises, or backyard flock owners experiencing high mortality rates within their flocks. Backyard poultry owners have a vested interest in protecting their flocks from outbreaks of avian influenza and other poultry diseases. It is vital that backyard poultry growers adhere to these biosecurity measures and require the same compliance from vendors and visitors. Adherence to these biosecurity measures will help protect your backyard flock and other poultry farms in your region.